Stop discussing the negatives of not being safe. Instead, focus on the positives of buying into safety. On this episode, four ways to make your safety program more positive. People work, the human touch in workplace safety. Available everywhere on Amazon. To learn more, go to kevburns.com slash peoplework. Ask employees about how they perceive the safety program, and they'll most likely answer that it's dull, boring, repetitive, mind-numbing, disengaging, and it tries to scare you into compliance. Hmm. Maybe even you feel like that's the way it has been and done in the past. Safety's been focused on following rules and avoiding injury or accidents, but like everything else in life, safety needs to evolve. Oh, sure, there's still an expectation of meeting the minimum standards of safety, but that's the least the law allows you to do. If the focus is, is to achieve the minimum standard, you're chasing compliance, the standard you're not allowed to fall below. And when safety programs are focused only on achieving the minimum, that's where the organization will live. And that's all that's expected of employees, the minimum. But as organizations are becoming more people-centric, they're integrating people development programs. Look, you can't develop your people without including safety. Oh, sure, the best managed companies and employers of choice still value a profit, but not at the expense of their good people. They're organizations that attract the best employees and hang on to them. And as I say, say regularly, the best place to work is always the safest place to work. Never is the best place to work an unsafe place to work. You see, the best employees are attracted to workplaces that focus on achieving positive, not just avoiding negatives. The best workplaces have real plans to make the experience of working there a positive one for the employee. Now, if you want that place to be yours, then here are the four most important ways to focus your safety program on positives. Number one, get their attention. Look, you can't talk to them if they're not paying attention. So you, as a manager, safety person, or supervisor, have to get their attention. That means engaging your people one-on-one -on -one whenever possible. That means finding ways to include them in safety meetings, not just making them sit there and get lectured to. When there's focused attention, there's engagement. Talking with people is far different than talking at them. When employees are included in the conversations, there's a greater likelihood that they'll take ownership. Now, let's be clear. You can still get their attention with gruesome photos and videos and sad stories, but it's only momentary. It doesn't last. And it's not positive. You want to get their positive attention and focus. You want to keep it positive. Why? Well, because a positive workplace is a great place to work. When people like where they work, they give more of themselves, far more than just the bare minimum. The first way to make safety more positive is to get their attention. Number two, identify what benefits safety delivers. There has to be a benefit more than not getting hurt. That's not a benefit. They're not hurt now, so they don't have to do anything different to get the same result. Now, let me give an example of benefit. Insurance salespeople know that life insurance is dry and boring, so they don't focus only on the negatives. They know that it's tougher for customers to make a positive step to purchase insurance if all the focus is on negatives. You don't scare someone into buying and then have them feel good about the decision they made. But we need insurance, and we need safety programs. So what benefit does safety deliver? Ask the question at a safety meeting and have an open discussion. And from the responses that you get from your people, make the list of benefits that safety delivers. Long life, healthy future, great teamwork, fun working atmosphere, positive morale, a sense of team achievement, goals realized. These are positive benefits. Go on, make the list and keep the list focused on positives. Not getting hurt is not a positive. Remember, they're not hurt now. They don't have to do anything different to get the same result. It's not a benefit to them. Change the wording so it reads as a realized positive benefit. Number two way to make safety more positive is to clearly identify what benefit safety delivers. Now, number three, and this is going to seem obvious, but create a plan for making safety positive. I mean, it seems simple, doesn't it? So why don't you do it? If there's no plan to make safety positive, then how are you going to get there? Make a plan, you make an effort. No plan, no effort. That means you're not specifically focused on getting a positive outcome. Safety isn't about avoiding failure. 
But that's largely how it's done. And that's where safety gets hung up when trying to get people to buy in. Look at it this way. Financial planners don't offer financial advice on avoiding failure. They focus on getting you to follow a plan for success. No one's financial plan is to avoid living in a box under a bridge. Financial planners work on getting you to follow a specific plan to move you toward a solid income and retirement with full ownership of your home. It's a certainty that if you work the positive financial plan, you assure yourself financial freedom. So then, what is the plan for safety? What certainty are you helping your people to focus on? What positive and proactive steps can you take each day that move you closer to achieving your goal? How can the whole team play a part in the plan? The key to success is to have a positive goal to achieve, not a negative failure to avoid. The number three way to make safety more positive is to simply create a workable plan for making safety positive. And finally, number four way to make safety positive is to focus on the future. Now, while safety is traditionally focused on short-term outcomes, like in the moment processes and procedures, there's also a long-term focus on safety. The in-the-moment decisions that are made have got to align with the future goals or outcomes your people want for their lives. Help your people to see that each action taken in the moment either moves them closer to their retirement goal or further away from it. And we always want to be advancing, so stop discussing the negatives of not being safe. That doesn't need to be the lion's share of the discussion. Your job hazard assessments will find the risks and hazards anyway. So instead, focus on the long-term positives of buying into safety. Focus on what will happen to you. Here are a few examples. You can watch your kids grow up. Christmas mornings, worry-free retirement. Hey, you can start a business in retirement. You can spend your twilight years at the lake house or travel to exotic locations. These are just some of the long-term positive results of choosing safety in this moment. Now, once you've got your people thinking about their safe and secure future, lay out the positive step-by-step -step plan to safely get there. Number four way to make safety positive is to focus on the future. A positive safety program is one that moves forward with all the members of the team playing a part in making it happen. It's focused on goals achievement, not failure avoidance. The real safety leaders work toward a goal of actually putting themselves out of work. To be so far ahead of the minimum standard that their own position could be considered redundant. So why would you intentionally put yourself out of work? Well, because safety leaders are selfless. The interests of their people come before their own interests. You know, 20 years ago, most of the safety positions that we have today didn't even exist. Probably your position didn't exist. And in another 20 years, it probably won't exist again. Organizations evolve. Safety evolves. Soon, safety will be just the way we work. In the future, safety won't be a thing applied to workplaces, but it'll integrate with how we work. And if you as a safety leader truly want your people to be a positive part of your safety plan, begin to focus on making their experience with safety a positive one.